Ricardo. Papa. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Renal Cleo Twin Turbo. <laughs> so good. Oh, he's great. It's not a lot. Cool. Okay. So, last time we left off, you were on hot on the heels of a clue, bottle of Royal Reserve. You tracked yeah. the bottle to the Royal Reserve in Lavora. Uh, and after a lengthy com uh, conversation, discovered that there were no missing bottles from the reserve. The only place the uh, head uh, vineyard, uh, uh, the head vineyard owner, suggested uh, was the palace itself, where they have a private stash of the Royal Reserve bottles. Upon venturing to the palace, you discovered that the wine cellar key was missing. Uh, when you descended into the cellar after uh, using the key that you'd found in the layer of the green hag, you discovered the body of a woman uh, displayed very similarly to the body you discovered uh, when you started this quest, the body of peaches. Uh, she was arranged in a circle of twigs rather than shells this time, uh, with a twigs uh, wreath round her neck, the small animal bones, uh, crouching similarly, uh, but with a deer skull with large antlers covering her face. Uh, the body belonged to uh, Lady Villa Martin, a uh, vineyard owner uh, who has a small vineyard in the Sierra Antonio Mountains north of Azeron. Uh, you travelled deep into the tangled forests of the Sierra Antonio, following the Levadas uh, as the, they d ascended the mountain slopes, black granite cliffs. Uh, into a tangled, uh, moist, and mossy forest. Uh, you had a brief conversation with a swindler. Uh, <laughs> Not bad. Oh, I'm so angry again now. <laughs> oh, yeah. And began ascending the slope towards the uh, the cabin where uh, the Villa Martin cabin, when you were waylaid by a creature escaping, uh, emerging from the forest, a creature constructed of twigs and branches uh, with skeletal uh, deer skull head, huge antlers come careering towards you. And that's where we will pick up. So, In Incidentally, it's just like playing the intro music for me again. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I can ride it out, it's fine. Yeah, I need to change your music anyway. D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond. Yeah. Oh, I was playing the... Oh. For a brief moment, they were both playing together and it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need everyone to roll initiative. Is everyone on the map? Oh, they are. 
Yeah. It's quite cool what you did with that um, image. The real still, life image. I like that. I still got control of Creamy. Well, stop it. I'll stop controlling her. I'm a tank. <laughs> oh, I'm a tank. <laughs> He's dead. Where is this um, creature? I can't see it. I'm... Oh, that's it. The massive thing. The <laughs> he's blending quite well. Wow. I think he is a tree, isn't he? Or tree-like. Is that right? Uh, yeah, he's making sort of branches. Hmm. Very good. Could you click on initiative, for fuck's sake? Oh, initiative? Sorry. Well, Could you see my initiative? I don't think it's come up. Uh, I've only got Creamy, the creature, and Wade so far. You've got eight. Yeah, it's. I it's pressed come the up. button. Well, just roll the initiative again, and I will. You have to. You have to select your um, token and do it. Where is initiative? For fuck's sake! At the top middle, between armor class and speed. There's all, there, it's also on the top, if you select the token and it's on the top bar, abilities, initiative, saving throws, mm. skills. So all you have to do is press, uh, uh, have your yeah. cursor on the token and press initiative at the top. Mine's not come in, Joe, it was um, nah, eight. Because it only goes in if you think if you've got your character token selected. Yeah. So oh. I'm going to roll it again, but mine was eight, Joe. Yeah. Okay. I just I just rolled mine twice. It was 19 first and then it went to a 5. Okay. Only as good as your last roll. <laughs> uh, I've got Creamy, Wade, Kurak, Morglath. Who am I missing? Tavron. 15. Tavron. Tavron got 15. Mm, yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm last. Okay, so first up is Kurak. Okay. Uh, well, it doesn't look friendly, does it? Definitely doesn't look friendly. Short <laughs> Oh, can I get cover in these trees? Yeah. Uh, so moving through the How forest then? is... Um, Difficult terrain, so every move uh, costs uh, an extra five foot of movement. So effectively, you can move half speed through the trees. But they'll offer you half foot, cover. And then I'm going to fire my arrow for an arrow. Nineteen. Uh, 19 is indeed a hit. Four. And then I'm going to do a extra 10 size shot where I get a plus 1d4. Another eight. Another. So another four damage, is it? Yeah, so it's eight altogether. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ah, so um, your attacks. Um, do hit, but they don't seem to be doing as much damage as uh, you would. Minor hope. magical, remember? Yeah, that's fine. They're still, they're still just not uh, hitting quite as hard as you would have hoped. Oh, lots of flies landed in my whiskey. <laughs> okay, uh, is that the end of your game? Yes. It's now the Lessons go. What's it called? Lesson. Um
So uh, it raises its uh, its huge arms up, uh, almost like gorilla arms, hugely long with long uh, twig-like claws, uh, and clasps its hands together and draws them out, bringing a ball of black energy in uh, above its head. That doesn't sound good. No, that does not sound good. Okay. What I miss? Um, <laughs> and it's going to move towards you. Five, ten, oh, shit. fifteen. Uh, it's engaged now with uh, Gigantor. No, uh, that's, that's the end of its go. You want some, I'll give it you. <laughs> that's uh, it's Tabron's well. go. Uh, how far away is it? I'm not very far now. <laughs> I will arrow it. Shooter. <laughs> Oh, uh, just at the end of its turn, uh, you notice the where your your arrow, um, Kurak, had pierced part of the sort of twigs and wood that can create its arm. Uh, those branches are starting to regrow and form oh. back. Oh, shit. We need fire, probably. Um, what happened before it moved? So was... uh, it cast what? some kind of spell. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, wood. wood Generation. Burns, yeah. So we're burning the stove. Has anyone got any fire magic shit? Um, Not useful. Up. No. Probably creamy. In a <laughs> endless <laughs> list of spells that are never used. Yeah. I can I can do a fiery thing. Yeah, Ooh, I've got, got loads tasty. of fire. Oh, I do as well. It's called vicious mockery. <laughs> <laughs> Just burns. I got <laughs> savage I burns. <laughs> can't remember when, but I got a scroll for something called hellish rebuke. You point Ooh. your finger, and the creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. <laughs> oh my god! That should do the yeah. fucking job, shouldn't it? <laughs> that should do. Yeah, the trick actually. It's only activated on damage. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Run up here and take some damage. <laughs> <laughs> but Lair can I up. use that, or does it? Uh, what do do it? Yeah, yeah. Any anyone scroll. can use a scroll, can't they? Yeah, as long as it's written in a language you can read, which I'm presuming I is if you've uh, if you're holding on to it. I think it was the um, it was written in Elvish, wasn't it? Oh yeah, maybe yeah. Because I couldn't read it. I think. Yeah, so you, you haven't been damaged yet, so I don't no. think you can really use it until you've been damaged. Keep it in my back pocket, though. Oh, do you not? Has it got like um, a duration on it? That spell. Um, uh... it's instantaneous. So do you have to do you have to uh, read you, it and use it before the fact? As a reaction. Mm. Casting time oh. is one reaction, which you take in response to being damaged by a creature that is within sixty foot of you. Does two so D ten fire damage? It would effectively be your like it would use up your attack of opportunity. Yeah. But then if it doesn't damage you, that's lost. But you can take an action and a reaction. So you can run up using your movement. You can attack using your action. And then once you get attacked next round, you can use your reaction. Okay, I'm probably going to live to regret this, but I will run up to it. <laughs> you can probably go to the left of Gigantor and you'll just be perching on the edge of the uh, walkway of the Slavada. I mean, that sounds even more precarious. Yeah, perching on the edge. <laughs> 
It's not very deep, the water. I mean, you could stand in the water if you want. Oh, right. Probably only ankle deep. <laughs> Love that you're only doing this off a very deep. loose theory. <laughs> <laughs> I will rapier him. Okay. That's so dodge. <laughs> That's right. definitely a hit. Oh, critical. Oh. Oh. I see it chopped down. See ya. All right, you do have sneak attack because you are flanking oh, him. That You've is got advantage. big. That's big. So, You're dead. Gotta be dead. What's that? Uh, that's 22. big. 23, 22. 39? That might be a record for the most damage done in one go. Let's see if he regrows uh, from that, fucking tree boy. Nothing but the tree boy. He looks hurt. <laughs> he does. Uh, what was what the total? damage is this, though? It's piercing and sneak. Sneaking. Slashing. Does sneak just follow the same uh, type yeah. of damage? Uh, same as the weapon type, so it's all piercing damage. Um, so it does do a lot of damage, but not quite as much as, uh, as you were hoping. Mm. So it's piercing maybe bludgeoning or it's quite good okay can I then wave my arms around and prepare to get hit <laughs> yeah <laughs> ducka, 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 ducka. <laughs> you could just allow yourself to get hit if he hit goes for you dive in front of me bodyguard style I'll save you mr so he like takes a step towards Gigantor and I throw myself in front of his leg. Yeah, but that, that would be your reaction. Taps me. So you would not you would not then be able to do the spell. All right. Um... But if he hits you, you, I'd say that as a as a free action, you can just take the hit. Wonder if slashing will do more damage. More of the same look. Slashing, it's like chopping down a tree in it, I suppose. Yeah. We need a saw anyway. <laughs> we need a chainsaw. <laughs> no. Uh, is that the end of your go, Tavron? Yep. Uh, Wade. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to cast a higher level Spearing Smite. Okay. Next time you hit a creature with melee weapon attack during the spell's duration, which is one uh, up to one minute. Uh, your weapon flares with white hot intensity and the attack deals next to a 1d6 fire damage to the target and causes uh, the target to ignite in flames. At the start of each of its turns, until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 1d6 fire damage. On a successful save, the spell ends. Do you know the spell it cast? Mm -hmm. Would it have to make constitution, well, saving throw to keep it going if he's been hit by Tavron? Um, no. But you don't know that. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, for this spell, no, it doesn't. But for spells generally, um, it depends if it's a concentrating spell or not. And you don't know what the spell is. Yeah. Mm. We do need a chainsaw, don't we? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> uh, 
you've still got an action, uh, Wyatt. Um, uh, well, I can... He's only 20 foot away. Yeah, the spell was a bonus act. What you cast as a bonus action. Oh, it's a bonus action. action. Yeah. Oh, so I can actually hit him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still get ready for the next round. It's always, looking, it's always worth looking at the casting time. Okay. I will approach him. That's right. Just do that every single time you hit something. <laughs> And strike down upon thee with great vengeance. <laughs> Not the finest Samuel L. Jackson impression. <laughs> <laughs> and furious anger. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I just realised that I've got two attacks. I just did one. It's only melee attacks that uh, you get a double attack for. That was good. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Alright, 20, is that a hit? Yes. That's a hit, yeah. Such power. <laughs> uh, 8 damage. Plus, because I did a high level cast. What? Um, yeah, two, you need to tell me you're going to do that, because that's a bit dodge. <laughs> What? But I'll allow it this time. But next time, you need to tell me that you, when you cast a spell, you need to say, "I'm I cast this as a X level spell." Well, oh, he did. It. He did say that. And he said high level. Hmm. It says here, evocation two. Oh, that... okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Cool. Right, <laughs> isn't it? Two D six. Hate brother. Kill brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> but still, uh, he's on. Uh, he's on fire. <laughs> oh, what did he fail his saving throw? Um, or, or he, I believe yeah. he just goes on fire immediately, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, and then he has and to. Then make it ignites him flame. Oh, okay. Also, the fire seems to do a lot more damage than you thought it would. Yeah. Yeah. Good old wood. <laughs> you thought it would. <laughs> um, Looks like we're camping here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You've come over all common, Wade. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice, my accent was 100% off. It's like doing that orc in the fucking door. The <laughs> this time it's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> It's back on the menu. <laughs> uh, let me just check how much damage vulnerability is. That's definitely a top five quote from the film. More about top fives today. I think if Tavern uh, had me, he would absolutely destroy me. <laughs> Okay, so your fire damage is... Uh, what was your fire damage? Three. <laughs> okay. And you did Spark eight. Spark <laughs> <laughs> Just a fucking match. Oh, I get two attacks, don't I? <laughs> uh, that attack attacks. where you put a match against the thing you rub it on and then flick uh, it. Yeah, you, you can do another attack. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my second attack, but that one's obviously not flame. Well, you need to roll another attack. Yeah, just to have it, 11. No, that's the damage. You just need to you need to roll oh. a hot fresh attack. Oh, do I? Roll. I have a long rest. Oh, I forgot how to play this game. <laughs> it's only been an extra week. <laughs> we haven't had two attacks for very long. Yeah, so for each attack you roll another attack roll. 18 yeah. is a hit. Big. Does he get that um, extra so can Searing can Smite again? Yeah. Last uh, for... Last for a minute. Oh yeah, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Fucking rock. <laughs> so it's 13 plus 
Uh, it's 2d6, isn't it? Yeah. That's better. Wow. Can't get better than That's that. That's very good. How do you get the 10 plus 2? How does that work then? Yeah, you've done that wrong. Well, in 2d6, 10 <laughs> plus 2. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just did it on this dice thing menu on that. It does actually say rolling 2d6, I don't mm, know. Yeah. There you go, you can have 2 and 5. Seven. Oh, 10, have I got 10 now? <laughs> <That's> 10. <laughs> Can't be a 10. <laughs> I love that, that's great. A 10 on a... <laughs> uh, so... That's a big mm. chunk of damage you just did to it. Nice. You got 13 slashing, isn't it? Y yeah. Uh, oh no. Was it? I thought it was 11. Oh no, because I re rolled, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, 13. And then 12 fire damage. Or <laughs> 7 fire damage. Oh. That first uh, it's hit looking was... quite hurt. That first hit was just a warm up. Uh, the uh, the attacks of fire have really done a number on this creature, and its uh, its vines are singed and uh, and burnt, and they don't seem to be growing back as quickly as they were before. Yes. yes. Uh, creamy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't seem to have any fiery based spells, which is a shame. Anything slashing seems to work as well. Yep. Um... Twenty one. Okay, well, you need to get in, in range a bit, so where are you moving to? He <laughs> just <laughs> strike it in there. Um, well, the, there, there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's your your wallet range there. Uh, that's a hit. Yay! Oh, brutal! Twenty damage. Yeah, no. I should have remembered. I should minus two on all my rolls, shouldn't I? Ah, oh. yeah, you should. Is that even and, the damage rolls? And you? Uh, no, it's just the attack rolls, I believe. He got twenty, so that'd be eighteen. Yeah, twenty, yeah. twenty, and eighteen. They surely both 18 hit still. And Sixteen. Yeah, they both hit if he's minus two. And what's creamy? Minus three. Yeah. Yeah, she got twenty-one though. Yeah, it still hits. Uh, Play 20 damage. <laughs> Ridiculous. Why is it 20 damage? Yeah, it's with the advantage. One thing is, is I don't think I'm rolling. With no, advantage is on the attack roll, not oh. the damage roll. Yeah, I think I think I. Is it just that I get to? Oh, roll? I know what it is. It's um. It's whether you're using it one-handed or two-handed. Oh. Oh. Is it what? I think. Wade uses his two-handed, he doesn't. That's a wrong thought, though. What does Wade use? Blade the Blood Current. What's the Blade the Blood Current? Is it a bastard sword? It's a great sword. sword. So it's, no, it's a great sword. Two-handed so sword. It's two-handed. Yeah. Mm. Long swords you can use one handed or two handed. Alright. Oh, um, let me cool. just check your. I think that's what it is, but I just want to look at the sword. Uh, long sword plus one, that's it. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. So, what, what are you using? One? Are you using it one-handed or two-handed? Well, I'm not holding anything else. I don't think. You could go. Yeah, I don't have like a shield or anything. So yeah, two hand. Okay, well roll it again because it wasn't set up correctly. Okay. So what do I need to roll again? The, the attack? Just the, just the damage, yeah. Should... So, I don't know why you would... Actually, one... Oh, I don't I've understand this. never seen that before. Hold on. Something's wrong here. Um, it's got an extra one D ten. Okay, I think I fixed it. So that would be. Can you, you can see this roll, can you? That I just did. Yeah. Should we just yeah. use that one? Sure. Or shall I roll again? Uh, yeah, you can roll again. I mean, eleven's pretty good. Yeah, I know, but. <laughs> Yeah, but... Yeah, okay. roll no. again. Yeah. Leave it up to the, the roll. Seven will do. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get better. It could get better. Uh, still looking pretty hurt. Oh, Jesus. Uh, are you doing anything else? Uh, no. No, that's it. That's it for me. Uh, more glass, here we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a bonus action, which is reckless attack. Um, and then I'll just do my normal attacks. It basically means I get advantage. Uh, 16? To hit? 16. That is a hit. Okay. Oh, no rage. So, 11. Okay. That's looking very hurt now. I'll do my second attack. 19. That's a hit. 12. How do you want to do this? Um... Uh, I grab the sparkler from Tom's satchel and take it out and set it alight from its anus. <laughs> well, you uh, you struggle to find an anus, but the shard <laughs> remains. In the I always find the anus, my friend. Uh, <laughs> begin to crumple and it falls into a pile of sticks, twigs, and bones with the skull lifeless. In the centre, looking up at you, jaw agape. <laughs> Anus again. <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay. I was waiting um, for it. I was waiting for it. <laughs> okay. If it doesn't have an anus, <laughs> he, he forms one for it. <laughs> Can we just have like maybe a look through the pile? See if there's anything of interest. Make a um, in, uh, make a perception check. Well, are, are you actually rummaging through it? Yeah. Okay, make an investigation check. Sorry. Oh. Nine. Uh, no, it just looks like twigs and bones, and it's. I mean, the the thing you do notice is that it it wasn't just a skull. There was a, some kind of skeleton to it. Just twigs and bones, boys. And an anus. That's all. Hmm. Okay. So, we will continue on. Did anyone take any damage? 
<laughs> no, I'm fucking readying up my scroll. <laughs> oh, yeah. It made, it made this black orb above its head and then just died. Alright, these forests seem to be dangerous. Let's uh, keep our <laughs> march order. I'll take the damage. There's, there's nothing dangerous in this forest. Just... <laughs> Why are you in the river, Wade? <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's the part. I'm searching for trout. It's just pathetic creatures that are so easy to smut. Why is it black? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, continuing on, you come to a fork in the road. Uh, so, one Lavora, Lava, uh, one Lavada even, is uh, uh, trickling down from higher path. Uh, and joining the stream you're currently on. And one uh, continues kind of at the same level, but not as, as such a steep gradient. So you're, you're still going upstream, uh, but one, uh, the path on the right, the stream on the right, uh, ascend faster. What Can did I that see any map signs say? of any Nevada being cut off? <laughs> of any little gate? Uh, yes, you can. There are lots of little gates. And which one uh, is it? The stream going down both? Um, oh, you mean for the uh, the, the irrigation? Yeah. No, there's no, there's no little gates up here, so you haven't seen any. Uh, is that so what you're the in map the said? Then? At the moment. You're in the you're you're, uh, you're not reached any vineyard yet. What did the map say? Do we have a drawing of it? Um, a very expensive hand-drawn map. Yeah, you did get a hand-drawn map, didn't you? Uh, make a straight intelligence check for me. Actually, make a survival... Sorry, it should be a survival check. It was just check my survival. 30. You're fairly sure. I mean, it's a very badly drawn map, but you're fairly sure the right path is the, is the right path. Right path is the right path. All right then. <laughs> okay. Uh, ascending steep cliff. There's lots of small waterfalls here. The larders are more overgrown than um, uh, the path you were previously on. But you do. It does widen out into a plateau. And eventually you come to a, a small uh, wooden cabin. Uh, nothing very grand, but it's a fairly reasonable size. And behind it, a uh, tangled uh, interwoven lattice of grapevines, sort of intermingled and indistinguishable from the forest that's creeping in on all sides and cloaked in mist. Ooh. Should we, uh, is this where we were trying to get to? I can't remember. Was it a vineyard we were trying to get to? What, what was it? It was one of the vineyards, but I can't remember what the person's vineyard was called that we want to go to. Um, let's have a look at this cabin while we're here. Okay, so you're going to venture into the cabin. Well, can we perceive it from the outside before we actually go in? Yeah, uh, make a... So there are windows, they're sort of clogged up with uh, dust and cobwebs, but you can peer through. Let's have a look in here, boys. Can we knock on the door? So, um, make a... Oh, you made a perception check. Is anyone helping me have a look? So you're currently standing at the oh, right, front no, of the, no. currently standing at the front of the um, at the front of the um, the cabin. Are you gonna? How are you looking at this cabin? Uh, what, are you, I wouldn't, what are you attempting to do? Well, I'm just having a look inside. I'm not gonna try to be stealthy or anything. Just okay. put my head against the window. Um. It's difficult to say, it's very dark inside. 
Anyone with dark vision? Yep. I'll go up to the window. Black in there, can't see a thing. Okay. Make a why perception it, check. Why is it black? <laughs> Tell me, Taron, why is it black? <laughs> You, you struggle to see you. through the window. <laughs> it's just so. It's it's not just that it's dark, but the window itself is fogged up with dirt, grime, uh, and so you just can't see it. It's, it's all right. I'll look at it. Can't we try and clean it? Uh, it's dirty on the inside as well. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> um. Who wants to knock on the door then? Who's chief knocker? Why don't I just put my fist through the window? <laughs> <laughs> Not very neighbourly. <laughs> yeah, I'll knock on the door. That's for sure. <laughs> you wait a moment. No answer. I'll try the door handle. Uh, the door creeps open, and uh, you walk in. You should have done your door when you said that. It would have been really hard to throw it. <laughs> Instantly regret asking you to do that. <laughs> Name. <laughs> There's someone inside. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on. That's lame. <laughs> I am lame. <laughs> Can uh, that be the character's name? Lame. <laughs> so inside, uh, Tavron, you see a grim sight. Old, dried blood caking many surfaces, uh, a huge blood smear across the large table, dining table in front of you, uh, and hanging from a chain in the rafters, the body of a man swinging slowly, with a slight draft that's blowing through the, uh, the cabin since you've opened the door. Below oh. him, a uh, pentagram etched in blood. So that's pretty all right in here, isn't it? You right in there, boys? <laughs> Nothing to see in here, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make this into our next investment? <laughs> the Peach Pals um, <laughs> property management. He'll, he'll be going cheap, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks better than Wade's vineyard. <laughs> there are less children buried here, that's for sure. Yeah. So are, are you all going inside? Yeah, I'll have a little look. Yeah, yeah. why not? Okay. Yeah, I might as well. Boring just looking at black screen. A bit dark in there. Can I light a torch? Yeah. Oh, I put more black on twice. Oh, <laughs> my twin brother! My long <laughs> lost is. twin brother. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why is it missed? Oh, correct. I can't see anything. Okay. You're wearing exactly the same clothes as me. Uh, one second, I need to remember what the torch statistics are. Maximum lumosity. Famous torch. Who is that? <laughs> I really wish it was me, but it's not. <laughs> 40 okay. or 20, okay. As if you had a choice. <laughs> oh, Tom, so you instantly got that. Hmm. There Prime you suspect. You should have a torch now. We always had a torch. <laughs> Can I have a sentient torch? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Fucking hell, what's going on in here? I, I can't see anything. Can I have a torch? Uh, yeah, but you both need to mark one off of your... Oh, hang on. Inventory. It doesn't make any sense, because he should be oh, able to can... see mine. Yeah, he can see yours, I think. Oh. You must be oh, able to see no. mine, Tom. He can't. No, I can't see. I've done it wrong. There you oh. go. Oh, oh my, oh, my oh. god. Boys. <laughs> Jesus. There's another body in here. There's a lot of death in here. Fucking, there's another one! There are indeed three bodies suspended above bloody pentagrams. A are smell they... in here is appalling. Can we search them for gold? Smells a little bit like my sewers. Uh, you can Feels search like home. the bodies. Make an um, investigation check. Alright, let's all search the bodies, boys. Oh, so... Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Uh, is it investigation? Mm-hmm. Investigation. Critical! <laughs> um, on the bodies you find uh, some tools, uh, sh uh, some shears, uh, some secateurs, um, a trowel, uh, and cumulatively uh, 25 copper pieces, uh, 10 silver pieces, and a gold piece. Oh, rich farmers. How many silver pieces? <laughs> 25. Uh, it was 10 silver pieces oh, okay. and a gold piece. Oh, yeah, 25 copper. They haven't got a lot on them, boys. I've robbed them for all they're worth. Can I <laughs> Uh, yeah, make a perception check. Or are you yeah. rummaging through it? I'm rummaging. Investigation then, please. Anyone help me? Yeah, fuck it. You help me rob them bodies. 19. Uh, you find a small, um, hastily scribbled note. Uh, it simply says, <coughs> made a deal for fertility of the soil. We're reaping the rewards now, but at what cost? Oh, oh. Well, I'd say they've paid, well, not that much. They did not. Is there anywhere else to look at it, boys? Is that a bookcase in front of me? Yeah, there's the bookcase. Oh, I'll rummage in that. Uh, make an investigation check. Oh, help. Okay. I'm going to oh, Me and Morgan are just teaming up. <laughs> rummaging for everything. <laughs> I'm going to... We're not even the investigators here, Wade. <laughs> I'm, I'm just by my divine sense. Pick up any evil... Yes, um, or undead within 60 feet. You can't sense any undead celestials or fiends, no. Um, Morglath and Kurak, you, you rummage through the bookcase and there's lots of stuff about uh, vineyard keeping, different wines, uh, wine guides. It's very dull stuff. But as you get to the bottom of the bookcase you notice draft coming from underneath the bookcase oh, there's a draft down here boys <laughs> I smash my foot through it um, as you kick the bookcase uh, you hear the thud from the other side but it echoes echo, echo. Uh, <laughs> as if there's the cavity behind the bookcase go on give it some welly I'm going to smash shit out of it Bring that kick pissing over. Uh, the bookcase topples over. Uh, and revealing a hole into solid rock beneath the, um, beneath the cabin. Uh, it descends into darkness. 
porch power. Um, you, so you have 60 foot of dark vision, don't you? Correct. Yeah. You can just about see the bottom of it. Oh. It's a deep one, boys. Oui. I do like holes. Especially the deep. Oi, Morclaff, there's more to rummage through here. Some barrels and shit. Oh, yeah. Anything worth nicking over here? Uh, there's just tools, some, uh, some garden tools and barrels of wine. Um, wait, are oh, books about wine and winemaking of any value? No, because they do not belong to you, and you would be a thief to take them. Yes, but are they of any value? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I want to get a good idea of who these people were. <laughs> Do you know these people? Because you, you, you must know the wine community. Um, you don't recognise any of the people hanging here. Yeah. But from, um, uh, Wade, from the, their garb, you presume that they were um, uh, workers here. Well. Is, is this a um a fireplace here that no, I'm stood at? Uh, grand. Yes. Uh, Kurak over here. Check the fireplace. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> just just a fireplace. It seems. You just fireplace. <laughs> it's fuck off. Just a fireplace. Can't see anything. There's this crate over here. Oi, Morglaf, come in. <laughs> I express out loudly, out out loud, that there's usually money behind fireplaces for other people to hear. <laughs> oh, um, one of the crates has uh. It's full of empty bottles. Uh, the other is full of gold. Uh, Fish eyes. Full of documents, <laughs> detail, uh, and quick glances detail that uh, they seem to be like tax returns. Uh, there is also a small pouch of coins in one of the, at the bottom of one of the crates. Fish eyes coins. Uh, it's seven gold pieces. Okay, I'll stick that in. They should have been more careful with their money. <laughs> Speaking of money, there's usually money stuffed up fireplaces. But anyway, let's go. Do, do, do. <laughs> Anyone else want to have a little look? <laughs> We're just having a long rest. Well, no, they're, they're role playing correctly because they've seen that you've looked at Firepass and found that it's empty. <laughs> Are you going to descend down this hole then? <laughs> well, they call Tavron over. <laughs> Tavron, have a little look down this hole. Okay. So, Tavron, you see that it descends about 55 foot, 50 to 60 foot down, uh, and there seems to be a tunnel stretching east, uh, which slopes uh, fairly steeply. Alright. Let's go then. Dave and Tommy playing football tomorrow, by the way. Uh, I probably won't be because the. Cause oh, you got a cat, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I've got. I probably will be. I'm just be part of the group. Should we just send down the hole? Okay, how are you doing that? Uh, oh, is it like a steep hole? Or... Well, it's vertical, 60 foot hole. Oh shit, okay. Sorry, I missed that. Um, I'll just jump down. No, I don't worry. Uh, has anyone got any rope on them? I've got rope. Oh no, it's ropes. Um, can I perceive if there's anything in the room that might help us with this task? Uh... You, I think you would know that, that you could probably tie 
uh, the rope to one of the bedposts. Okay. Uh, Thank you. It's only so like you would need mm. seventy foot of rope then. Is that is just have interest? Is there any rope in the room? Yeah. Good old farmer's rope. Should have rope on us, shouldn't we? Uh, yes, there is. There's uh, there are a couple of um, sixty foot rope. Uh, <laughs> <Perfect. on> the... <laughs> Guess what the doctor wrote. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know if ropes like um, if you lose it after you, you know, it's used. Or... Um. Oh no, you would still have your rope. Okay. Yeah, because we usually when we've used it, we usually get bring it, it back up. Yeah, because yeah. you've brought it back up to bring the body of Wade up. I'm gonna take these extra two bits with us just in case there's any long holes we've got to go down. Okay. So now I've got three. What's on. what's your the usual rope length in the like adventure? Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll just be the same length as that, whatever that is. I think it's sixty foot. Three sixty foot. Oops. All right, let's, I'll tie one to the bedpost and so on. Do you, does that require a skill Temple or rope? I think it is. Does it require any skill to tie to the thing, or is it just an action that can just happen? Um. I say that this is not that uh, big a hole, and you've done this before, oh. so I'll, I won't require a skill check for this. Nice. So you, uh, who's going first down the hole? Preferably someone that can see. Okay. Okay. Tavron goes down the hole. Do you want to re report back up Tavron? So the uh, uh, you descend the rope and see this uh, passage slopes down fairly steeply, uh, probably at that 35 degree angle. Uh, there seem to be tangled roots uh, coming out of the um, rough hewn walls of this tunnel. Okay, am I near the bottom? Yep, yeah, you're at the bottom. Uh, I'll do a little investigation just to see what's in front of me on the floor. Okay. Uh, the floor is moist and uh, very slippy. Um, it, it counts as difficult terrain uh, going up. Going down uh, it's, it's, it's easier going down, but it'll be more difficult coming back up. So going down, it counts as normal terrain. Going up the uh, slope, it will count as difficult terrain. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Would second story work help me climb back up? Um, I'd say this isn't really climbing. This is this would be uh, walking, uh, and it's it's not that that it's not your ability to climb fast. It's your ability to avoid slipping. So not in this case. For fuck's sake. Slipping. All right. Well, I'll start. If that's going it. down, it would be fine. I'll start heading down. Okay. So uh, the cavern ends about, uh, the tunnel ends about one, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay. Oh, there's a ruler, isn't there? <laughs> I don't need to count. Uh, the cavern is about 80 foot long, and it, uh, the tunnel is about 80 foot long and ends in a large um, uh, cavern, which is around... Uh, opens to around over 40 foot wide. There's some big fuck off red crystal things down here. <laughs> around, yeah, around the corners of the cavern are what looks to be huge 
shards of red crystal jutting from the solid rock below. Is it safe to come down? Oh, oh. I think so. Oh. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. Should we go down? Head down? Climb down? I climb down. Yeah. Am I able to climb down? Just leave someone up there to guard. So I, what? To guard? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll guard, but I can't Do you not see... remember when we all climbed down that ladder and then got trapped and almost burnt to death? <laughs> uh, can't remember. What a day. Uh, what a day. There's no light up here. I'm going to do it. I need a torch. Yeah. You, could, I, you could light a torch, but you'll need to mark it off of your inventory. All right, boys. Uh, let's be careful down here. So, are you, are you lighting the torch, Wade? Yes, my last torch. It did dog shit. Fucking <laughs> boss, don't you are not it. Don't go too far. I don't want to explore a whole dungeon. Uh, what's Creamy doing? Um, well... Okay. I suppose I'd better do something. Should we, uh, go up top first, boys? And girls. Yeah. Oh, there's a big pile of something over here. Oh, it's a big uh, pile of shit. a huge pile of leaves and dirt matter. Don't go too close there. There's something hiding in there. I can feel it in my bone. Can I? Do I know what these crystals are? Um, make a nature check. I have no idea. Mm. Yeah, um, I've got a feeling there's going to be something in those leaves. Shall I throw something at it while we're at a safe distance? Yeah. Say a light. Okay. Uh, just make a um, dexterity check for me then. Okay. And what are you throwing? Just the, a rock or something that's on the ground down here. Yeah, easily done. Um. Oh my god! I just, I just pelt it as hard as I can. <laughs> uh, the rock uh, lands ten foot away from you and just sort of hangs off down the uh, passage to the north, omitting the fire completely. Oh yeah. Oh, you did say. the same, yeah. Oh. How do you just do a straight... Oh, I see. Yeah, I've got you. That was just a practice throw. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 15. For a moment, nothing happened. <laughs> and then the pile of leaves and twigs begins to rumble. Get back, creamy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Creamy! <laughs> Creamy's just out in front. Taking it like a champ. Oh, uh, emer that? Emerging from the pile of leaves are four large appendages. Uh, <laughs> there's no real shape to the creature. It looks like a, a mound of shambling leaves and twigs and undergrowth turning around to face you. Uh, I need everyone to roll initiative, please. Run! <laughs> Looks Why? like I'm a bit fucked. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll do it on the. Um... Oh, that's good. 
20. No tower on. Big. <laughs> <laughs> Break appendages. <laughs> No <laughs> way. Oh, not way. Wait, why is, why is the DM rolling more than one? <laughs> okay, uh, so Morglath got what? 20, I'm on the thing already. Yeah, it's not updated for me. Oh, 20. Uh, Korak got what? 22. Okay, Tavron got. 23. Oh, everyone's rolling amazingly. Uh, Wade got. He's Wade in that combat. Yep. Yeah. Well, you still need to roll initiative. Was he within kind of earshot here? I got 10. Yeah, well, we'll just say that we've got his initiative so that, like, when he hears the battling, he'll be able to. Come in, but he won't. He won't be part of this first round. What, regardless? Mm. Uh, Creamy got thirteen. Yeah, oh, one. unlucky. <laughs> uh, correct. Uh, oh, okay. You just came up twice for me. That's probably why. Uh, why the fuck are these pink crystals? What are they going to do? Well, Blind I us. <laughs> They're on the turn tracker and that makes me a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tab runs first. Run! I just realised the actual screen isn't it. So, what are you doing? T -t 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 uh, where's everyone's turns gone off the turn track? Well, they're not on yours. Right, mine are gone as well now. Yeah. Uh, well, there's something wrong with my turn tracker compared to yours. Because I had duplicates, so I didn't realise. Anyway, you're, I've, I've got all the details, so you're first. <clears throat> Alright, I will. I will shoot the largest appendage okay. <laughs> with my <laughs> short bow. Fourteen. Uh, that misses. Uh, the creature seems oh to be uh, fairly nimble, and it's uh, as your bolt comes towards it. Uh, the appendage sort of swivels out of the way, almost like a snake's tail. Okay, can I hide behind this pillar thing? Uh, yep, yeah. uh, go ahead and make a hide check. I wonder if 13. it draws any power 13. from the crystals. Hmm. Okay. Nice theory, Kurak. I'm going to test it. Uh, Kurak, go. <laughs> I'm going to go up to this crystal and smash seven hell out of it. Okay. Flurry of blows. Exactly. I'm going to do Warhammer, Warhammer, <laughs> and then. Blows! <laughs> Strike, and I'm strike. Oh god. Uh, well, all of those hit. <laughs> so, 5 plus 7 plus 4 
plus six, so it's twenty two. Two. Uh, the crystal shatters to nothing. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is that the end of your game? Uh, I am going to take cover. With Tavron here. How much cover does that give me? Um, I'd say that gives you half cover. Cool. Take half cover. Uh, as long as it's doing a ranged attack, it can't, it did, can't did killing the crystal do or smashing the crystal do anything to the creature? Uh, you didn't notice anything happen. <laughs> what? what are you doing, Kurak? The creature's there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more glass to go. <laughs> Let me show you how we do it in the hood. Uh, Oh, he's gonna go straight to it. <laughs> I run up to it. Oh my! F There's loads of crystals here. Um, I'll distract it. Okay, then I'll hit it. Oh, I'll go into a rage, and then I'll hit it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Critical twenty-eight. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that hits. For my first attack. Uh, that's very smart, isn't it? That's very good. 23. Uh, 23 damage. Yep. Okay. The mound sort of shimmers and goes. <laughs> Took it like a there. champ. Uh, it shimmers. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Uh, what did you hit it with? A great axe that has icy stuff. No. Okay. Uh, the ice actually doesn't seem to do anything to it. Okay. Uh, but the, re the that's only one of the damage. The rest of the damage <laughs> see, uh, seems to deal as much as you expect. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I will do a second attack on it. Okay. Oh, only 11. Uh, this time the uh, tendrils move out of the way. No, no. And again, parting like sort of, no, uh, flexible limbs of uh, uh, flexible like a snake or a, something's tail uh, mm. moves in a way that wood shouldn't move. Uh, and your uh, attack goes wide. Okay. They work. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Is that the end of your go? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, the crystals around the room, Oops. those that are still sta uh, standing, seem to suddenly pulsate with a blue light. Uh, and you hear this sort of charging noise. <laughs> okay. Someone's phone's vibrating. I think you might have been on to something here, Kurak. <laughs> Can a second attack okay. be performed on, like, a second creature? To do one attack on one, then a second attack on Oh, yeah, on yeah, another. you can attack multiple creatures. Okay. Um, so, a bolt of lightning shoots from this uh, crystal, 
and arcs straight towards the uh, shambling mold. Uh, and the, the shambling mold begins to uh, glow with the electric uh, light. Uh, and the, where the tendrils have been damaged, they start to regrow uh, and reform. Okay. We need fire again, boys. We need fire and need to destroy these crystals. Uh, so it does. Okay, it can't be that spell. <laughs> That's way too bad. It oh kill you all God. immediately. <laughs> I think it was this one. This seemed more reasonable. And we all die. <laughs> the end. Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Shit, is this going to hit everyone then? So, um, every creature in this line. Which line? I didn't see it. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Get rid of that. <laughs> Owned. Uh, every creature in that line takes uh, 21 damage. Oh my god. Uh, you can make a you, well, you make a dexterity save. Hang on, right? which line? The penis line. <laughs> Still there on my screen. <laughs> penis line. Oh, Pretty the much line. the spot on line though. Uh, so make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I get advantage on that. Not that it's helped. Nine. <laughs> Uh, okay, and Creamy? Oh, okay, so Creamy, you take half damage, so it's... Uh, ten. Yeah, ten damage. Right, I got twenty-one. Ooh, I'll feel that one tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Um... Tis but a scratch. There we go. Uh, okay, yep. That's only the shitty crystals go. Uh, what kind of damage was that, Joe? Lightning damage. Uh, it's lightning damage, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's the end of the crystals go. It's Creamy's go. Yeah. Whoops, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Maybe I'll attack this crystal. Okay. Uh, that's a hit. Boom. Uh, you take a huge, uh, you, um, you, uh, smash your longsword into it, uh, and the top of the shard of the crystal just snaps, snaps off and shatters on the ground, while well, the rest of the body of the crystal is still there. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Uh, Wade's going. I might have a sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, um, actually, I'd say that you will have heard by now the pain. Yeah, <laughs> some action happening down the tunnel. My friends are in need. I must valiantly go down this giant hole. 